Students, 12th standard computer science, chapter 5, Python and variables. So today we are going to learn about what is input and output function. First, input function. It is used to accept the data as input at runtime. The syntax of input function is variable equal to input prompt string. Here, prompt string in the syntax is a statement or message to the user to know what input can be given. The input takes whatever is typed from the keyboard and stores the entered data in the given variable. If the prompt string is not given in the input, no message is displayed on the screen. Now we will see the example for input function. Example, x equal to int input enter number 1. Then y equal to int input enter number 2. Then print sum equal to x plus y. So here int means it is used to convert a string data as integer. So for example, the output of this function, so enter number 1, then number 2, so the sum equal to 50. So this is the output for this function. So here input function is used, it is used to get value from the user. Print function. Print function is used to display the result on the screen. So here example x equal to 5, y is equal to 6, z is equal to x plus y, then print z. So here we print the value 11. Then the print function evaluates the expression before printing it on the monitor. The print displays an entire statement which is specified within print. A comma is used to separate in a print function to print more than one line. Comments in Python. The commands begin with a hash symbol. Then the lines that begins with a hash are as considered as a comments and it is ignored by a Python interpreter. Comments may be a single line or number of multiple lines. Indentation. Python uses white spaces such as tab and spaces. All statements within a block must be indented with the same amount of spaces. Tokens. So already we studied in C++. Token means it is the smallest integer unit in a program. So here token means a Python breaks each logical line into a sequence of elementary lexical component known as tokens. The types of tokens are identifiers, keywords, operators, delimiters, and last one is literals. Identifiers. An identifier is a name. It is used to identify a variable, function, class, module or object. Here some rules to follow to give the name for identifier. So identifier must always start with alphabet or underscore. Identifier may contain digits 0 to 9. Then Python identifiers are case sensitive. Here case sensitive means either in upper case or lower case. Identifier must not be a Python keyword. Then Python does not allow punctuation characters like percentage, dollar, at, etc. Keywords. So keywords are special words used by Python interpreter to recognize the structure of the program. So they cannot be used for any other purpose. So some keywords are false, class, else, return, if, far, try, while, in, def, etc. Operators. In computer programming language, operators are special symbols which represent a computations and conditional matching, etc. Here, operators are categorized as Arithmetic, Relational, Logical, Assignment and Conditional Operator. So the value and variable when we used with operator is called operands. Arithmetic Operator. It is a mathematical operator. It takes two operands and perform calculation. Some arithmetic operators are addition A plus B. Subtraction A minus B, multiplication A into B, 
division a divided by b module then exponent then last one is float division special operator so it is also called comparative operator so here it checks the two condition if the condition is true it produces the result true otherwise it display the result false for example some examples for relational or comparative operators are a equal equal b then a greater than b or a less than b so here it checks the condition if i give a5 b6 here 5 greater than 6 here the condition is false so it produces the output false some relational operators are equal greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to and not equal to logical operators it is used to perform a logical operations like un or not logical operators r operator if any one input is true it produces the result true and operator if both inputs are true it display the result true otherwise it display the result false not operator it is a complement for example if we give the input true it display the output false if we give the input false it display the result not true true assignment operator in python equal sign is used for simple assignment operator it is used to assign the value to the variable for example if i assign a equal to 5 here the meaning is the value 5 is stored in a variable a for example if i give a plus equal to 5 it means the a variable is add with the value 5 and stored again in a same variable so this is assignment operator conditional operator it is also called ternary operator it evaluates something based on a condition being true or false it simply allow the testing a condition in a single line replacing a multiple multi line if else making the code compact so syntax of uh, conditional statement is va true pa variable name on true condition on false so here i'm going to write on simple example minimum equal to 50 If forty-nine greater than fifty, then yes, minimum equal to seventy. So here, this is the true part, and this one is the condition, and this one is the false part. So here, it checks the condition forty-nine less than fifty. Greater, sorry, forty-nine greater than fifty. If the condition is true, it displays the result minimum equal to fifty. If the condition is false, it produces the result minimum equal to seventy. 